much for the uh, uh, all the people that ask me all the time if uh, you know they uh, you know, they have money coming in and they, they want to help with Kiru, but they also want to help the poor people that we usually do uh, during the holidays, but also during the year. They always ask me, is there something going on? And the truth is, there's always something going on. And I always tell you during the lectures of different stories that uh, we deal with, whether it's to uh, help somebody come up with money for uh, for a surgery or to help a poor family have food for Shabbat or to help pay for tuition for someone that simply doesn't have it. Uh, and the stories go on and on and on and on. And here in a moment, you're going to see something that just happened in the last couple of days. A family that's so poor in Eretz Yisrael that did not have money to have to buy simply normal mattresses. They were sleeping on something the equivalent of metal. Uh, the only thing this reminds me of is the concentration camps of Shemeshmo. And uh, these stories come across our desk on a regular basis. And after verification, when we send our team members to go and see and make sure that everything is legitimate, we try to do our best to help. And there's just not enough time in a day to make a campaign for every single cause. So we do what we do is we simply give and we trust that Hashem will give us to help people because there's just not enough time. And uh, you know, sometimes time is very sensitive. So it takes time to, to verify things, but also it's, a, uh, it's just one of those things where you really can't wait for people to decide whether they want to help this poor person or not. You know, if there's a need, we're there. And Bezot Hashem will continue to be there. So for any of you that is contemplating what to do with that maaseh, with that uh, 10% that you give, to, that you need to give as a Jew and also as a non-Jew, uh, for the sake of Torah, whether to give it just to Kiru or to give it uh, and to help people do tshuva, or to give it to help poor people and how to mix it, bottom line is our organization does it all. And we do it on a regular basis and there's simply not enough because there's so many people that need help it breaks your heart and you'll see that in this video our team member and it breaks your heart our team member starts crying uh, that's that's how hard some of these situations are and we try to publicize a lot of different videos without embarrassing anyone and showing faces to show people that their money is going to good places to help people not only do tshuva not only publicize the Torah publicize Hashem's name and his glory but also to help people survive in this difficult world so if you want to help us, you want to join us, you want to be a partner with us, Be'ezat other Shem is very, very happy to be a partner with you. And uh, we look forward to uh, hearing more and more good news so we can tell you that you are part of another big miracle that happened to someone in Kalisei. Call to B'chav Aztacha. <laughs> עם כאבים מאוד חזקים בגב. הבאתי לה עכשיו סל מזון לשבת. חשכו עיניי, אני בא לי לבכות, תראו על איזה מזרון היא יושנת. כל הברזלים בחוץ, תראו, על זה היא יושנת, מזה היא קיבלה דלקת שלא עוברת לה. תראו, זה המזרונים שהם יושנים אליהם. אני חייבת את העזרה שלכם. אני, אני פשוט ישבתי על המיטה, כל הברזלים תקועים לה בגב. תראו מה זה, אני פשוט נוגעת בברזל. על מה אמא יושנת? היא יושנת על ברזלים? בגלל זה כואב לה הגב? כן? עכשיו אנחנו מביאים לה מזרונים חדשים, מנסים לה על המיטה. תודה רבה על ארגון בעזרת השם ולרב ירון, שדאג לפני שבת למשפחה נזקקת למזרונים חדשים. הם ישנו המשפחה על מזרונים קרועים עם ברזלים בחוץ. ארגון בעזרת השם אין עליכם בעולם.